Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Kelsendell, and today I'm reviewing Atlas Reactor here on MMO Good to Go. Atlas Reactor is a MOBA. I mean an RTS. <laughs> I mean a MOBA. Well, actually it calls itself a turn-based multiplayer without the waiting. And although that sounds a little contradictory, I'm pretty sure it's an accurate description. The gameplay is quick-paced and can seem simple at first. But once you've started playing, it you realize it has several layers of difficulty. In a match, once you've decided your movement and attack, and once you've locked in your movement, you're locked until the everything is resolved. Then you go into four phases. Prep, which is represented as green at the bottom left of all of the abilities, and it's the first thing activated. Normally these include heals and power-ups, but those can also vary as they have different locations that they can go into. Then there's dash, which is represented by yellow. It allows certain moves and attacks to happen. They are normally jumps from either away to, away from or away to enemies, and they can deal damage a lot of times, or they just get you out of dodge. Blasts, which are represented by red, deals normal, do normal attacks towards the enemies, either shooting, swing, or throw. There are good chances, however, that your target has already moved, so anticipation is part of the game, and paying attention to where your enemies are and the abilities that they have left are key to this game. And finally, at the end of all those, you move. If you didn't dash away, you get a chance to place yourself into a potentially better position. These actions occur in order every time, and dash will never be faster than prep, and so forth. The game reminds me a lot of War Machine, which is a tabletop game where line of sight and movement are key, as well as anticipation. And if you've never played War Machine, I highly recommend you check it out, because it, it looks awesome. It plays awesome. It's no Warhammer, though. Anyways, this game, Atlas Reactor, is fast-paced, even though it's a turn-based game, and it only gives you 20 seconds to pick your moves. And that might sound like a lot of time, but when you're playing chess and three of the four pieces are being controlled by other players it really takes a lot of attention strategy and as well as teamwork and teamwork and teamwork and if you don't have teamwork then you're going to end up dead the crafting system goes hand in hand with the premium items um, the store doesn't have much for you to purchase they have skins taunts and attack actions but you can also craft those um, thankfully the store does not change the gameplay. You can get boosts that increase the XP or monies that you earn, but the game is anything but pay to win, and I really love that. If you're tired of the same old, same old, and you're looking to try yourself out, at the time of this review, and the, the day that it comes out, it's available for free right now until the 17th of July. If you would like to see some gameplay, you can hit the card at the top right-hand corner and check out my uh, um, other channel, where I actually play about an hour and there will be other videos coming up afterwards of this game because my group we really enjoy it although this game is still in the alpha I'm pretty confident in giving this game a four and a half out of five and I would highly recommend you head over to try on games and give this a go I dare say you won't be disappointed thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it give it a like if you did Dislike it if you didn't, and leave a comment. If there's another game you would like to see me play, don't forget to subscribe, and I will talk to you all later.